Spot and a Woody, but tap and dad out with Spot and a Woody. What's going on, everybody? Shane D here, your best friend. I'm your best friend in the entire world, and I am back with some uh, dangerous toys in their song Sport and a Woody. Everyone I knew in high school, they were like, hey, bro, you got to check out that song Sport and a Woody, dude. It's, it's real good. And uh, I never knew the words to it, and I was. I didn't really care for it all that much, but I thought, let's give it a second try. It's been years since I heard that song, but let's give it a video breakdown. Maybe the lyrics are intense and deep, and we can learn a little something from it, at least from the band. It looks like this is the lead singer, and it looks like he might be, he's got a camera there. He might be spotting a Woody. He might be spotting a Woody out in the audience, a Woody Harrelson or somebody like that. Woody Guthrie might be there, but uh, Woody Allen could be there. Uh, but uh, any hoot, I'm assuming this song's going to be about spotting woodies, like uh, sporting woodies, you know, kind of like uh, like people, right? Guys named Woody. Um, so this is a live performance from Austin, Texas. Ooh, that's very nice. Uh, I also have my trusty lyrics here that we're going to get into. I don't know a single word that he says in this song, so... We're going to go ahead and dive into this live performance of Dangerous Toys doing Sportin' a Woody. Now I'm saying Spotting a Woody because I did that whole Spotting a Woody thing. So let's get into this and see what happens here. I think this is, uh, yeah, it's got different angles to it, which I was pleasantly surprised by. He's holding it up pretty good. One thing I'd say about his posture, though, is that's, uh, uh, that's uh, osteoporosis just waiting to happen right those dudes that play like they're probably sitting up pretty straight what he's doing here he doesn't need to sit up straight for they know what it is sporting woody oh a little a little twist on radar love there what did he say he don't know the words but he don't care Okay. Well, listen here, pal. We care about your words. We're taking the time out right now, right on this day, on this fine day, to look at Dangerous Toys and your song Sport and a Woody. So we care to learn about your lyrics. Learn the lyrics to Radar Lover Guy, for God's sakes. Something, 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 something. I've been driving all night, my hands wet on the wheel. Do, 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 do. As they pass on, I'm shifting gear down. Shut up, come on. Don't let that guy sing no more. Stop him. That's good shit. Let's talk about our dicks now. Who's ready to sport a fucking Woody? Oh, yes, me, sir. Yes. He had to remember that he's got to have that voice, that... I swear, if there's one, and you guys, you know, I know there's dangerous toy fans out there. I gotta say, you, Shane, you're a damn son of a gun here. But I swear, I don't know which. It's like the chicken and the egg, which came first. But Axl Rose or this guy? Now Axl Rose has a squealer on him that's that I would say is better than this guy. But I would be damn curious as to who comes first. I'm gonna say Guns and Roses came first. But this guy and Axl Rose remind me a lot of each other, other than the talents. <laughs> Smaller than it. He's been driving out, so he knows some of the words to Radar Love. He should have said Tommy Lee, remember? When Tommy Lee was driving the boat with his sport in the woody. I love the guys that are always going on about their ding dong size. You know, he's like, it's time to pull out the hog and stuff. It's like, there's no lumps there, but I'm seeing, I'm not seeing, I'm just seeing a uh, big sausage on there or anything. Nothing to write home to mom about, right? There he goes. Oh, oh, oh. Jesus. Who's this guy? Look at this guy. Rocking out. Oh boy. Jesus. 
you could fit a whole guava melon in there. Jesus. He just keeps going with it. That's like a two-seconder. Look at that. You know, he's learned a few things. He's learned a few things from the tour bus days, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. He's like, I'm kind of like Eddie Van Halen's brother. Hmm? Okay, let's get through that first bit there. Uh, well, there's, well, there are women in the city that make me feel shitty, and there's some that make me pack a wad, but the ones that are fine, oh, will never be mine. They won't even give me the time of day? How does that even, I mean, bear with me, because I'm slow reading this, but that didn't rhyme or anything, and what's pack a wad? Some that make me pack a wad. Is that cash? Well, there's well, there's women in the city that make me feel shitty, and there's some that make me pack a wad. But the one, one, but the ones that are fine, oh, will never be mine. They won't even give me the time of day. Doesn't really. Let's see jaws over here. Sport in the woody, I grabbed the dang dog. So he, he did say something in here. I ain't got no money, I ain't got no home. I gotta find me a BIM to live with tonight. What the hell's a BIM? Are you reading this the same way I am? I gotta find me a BIM to live with tonight? I ain't got no money. I want to see if he says BM. You see, BM. There you say, I caught it right there. Comedy? Yeah, he says. They jump off the they jump off the stage there and just start looking for BIMs. They walk around going BIM BIM BIM. I'm looking for a BIM. I ain't got no money, I ain't got no home. Yeah. You ain't got no job, you ain't got no home, you ain't got nothing, damn it. Now what can you offer me in trade for a, a BIM? I'm your BIM, uh, and you need a place to stay tonight. What can you offer me? Well, I can offer you a sport and a woody. Yeah, I'll pay you in, I'll pay you in favors, my sex organs. Hey, look at that. Right after I said he needs to straighten his back up, what'd he do? Oh, those are pretty tattoos. What are they? Oh, he's got like a little wolf. He's got a little wolf here, a little werewolf. He goes into the place, he says, what do you, they say, what do you want? What do you want? He wants a, he says, I want a wolf. I need a wolf on there. What's this, like, a, it looks like a baby bird. Trying to get its first, you know, if, if it was turned a little upwards, it looks like a baby bird, you know, waiting for the mama to stick the stick the little little uh, caterpillar that it finds. This is like the crest of his family or something. The sport in the woodies crest. Oh. When's he gonna get that camera? This is the perfect time to do that, too, because, um, you know, they got the cameraman. He knows he's being filmed. He's right there, and then they always give it, give me the hand. <laughs> the, 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 the singer always says, hand me that camera, you, you numbskull. I'm going to take some shots of the people. Yeah. 
Did we miss a whole verse there? I mean, I, th I, I, I take him, I take this singer as kind of a, he's kind of a fun guy. He's probably fun to hang around. Well, my Woody gets big when you're taking a swig. Jesus. I thought it was supposed to be big already. And you drink, and your drinks making you loosen up. And you're, oh, you're roofies, huh? You're roofie in her, huh? And your drinks making you loosen up. Did he write these words? Starts a talking to me. We'll look down and you'll see what the hell I've been talking about. Hmm. Well, my Woody gets big when you're taking a swig and your drink ma drinks making making you loosen up. Jesus, yeah, you hand these to someone that's on the on the road with a police officer. Say just you, you can go home without a DUI. Just read these lyrics, and if you can get through them, you can go home. Start a talking to me. We'll look down and you'll see what the hell I've been. What the hell I've been talking about? What you been talking about? I've been talking about my big juicy woody. Oh, boo, 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 boo. Tar player looks like he got younger. When in actuality, he's only getting older, right? Always oh, went back to the bad posture again. Sport and a Woody, they say, look, when we hit the sport and a Woody parts, we want you to spring up. Almost like your back is a Woody. And you'd say, sport and a Woody, and you and you're you're standing up straight with your Woody. And then you can let it soften and slump back over for the, the verses. Right. Oh, here we go. I don't know how many more times I can pause this up. It's very hard for me to not, but uh, oh, yeah. I feel like this is... Come on, okay. Should we get through that verse first, or, or what he said the last time around? Is this the original band? I don't Come think on, I three of these do... I think three of these guys are not the originals. Let's play along, okay? Come on, hand clapping. It's a pretty good crowd. Probably an old Uncle Joe's or... That looks pretty good. There's nothing more uh, enjoyable than when a band tells a bunch of older men you know, the majority of these guys are going to be older older guys, middle-aged men that now are wrinkled and ruffled and crinkled up and tired and pissed off and everything else. And then just for one night, they put their hands right over their heads and do that. They'd never do that in their life. Not, not one goddamn day in their life would you, ever, would you ever see some angry old man with his hands over his head clapping like that. But goddammit, Dangerous Toys will bring it out of you, won't it? Look at those hands. Hey man, he got the owner of the bar clapping. Give me that camera. Y'all keep clapping. Y'all keep clapping. Y'all keep clapping. Keep clapping. See right there. Look at these guys. Look at him. He's got, oh shit, get me in the picture. Clap. Oh, this guy's got like an opera clap. This, this old son of a gun, look at him, he's doing the old opera. He's like, I just saw hot cat on a hot tin roof. <laughs> you know? Look at this. He scoots into frame. Oh, let me get over. Oh, yes. Ah, indeed. Dangerous toys. You're going to get a, a clap as if it was Broadway. All right, I want you to see. See, and there's my, there's, uh, there's exactly what I'm telling you right there. These two dudes, I ain't gonna goddamn clap. I'm gonna come and rock out, buddy, and I'm gonna sing real loud and proud into my wife's ear. Sporting the Woody, you're gonna get a sporting the Woody later. But I will not put them hands up to clap. By God, I'm not gonna do it. Sporting the Woody. Sporting the Woody. Oh, 
That dude's loving it. He's the star of the show. Come on, Jaws. Let's see you do it again. He was trying to suck someone up out of the audience earlier. His last name's Hoover. <laughs> he was like, hey, look, I'm going to get... No, 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 no. I'm going to count 10. I'm going to say 1, 2, 3, 4, Spartan Woody. 1, 2, 3, 4. You got it? It's kind of odd. But okay. I'm going to say it first. If you just follow me, because I'm afraid you're not going to remember the words. Yeah. What? He's probably entertaining to be around. Yeah, I'm afraid that if you won't remember the words, I'll count you and I'm giving you the words. So you go. Oh, come on now, sir. That's his mark of disapproval from the audience. They didn't giggle or whatever, what he was saying. So, I spit on your stage. I wasn't picking on you. I just mean, you know, I'm afraid that if you won't remember the words, I'll count you and give you the words. Oh, so there's a legit lady going, hey, up yours, asshole. Saying we won't remember things. More bad jokes. See, he's irritated. Oh, Christ. We got this lady over here. She's giving me grief. I'm going to curse this land. Right there. I curse this land. One, two, three, four, seven, eight, 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 eight. All right. All right. Something tells me this is going to be the most anticlimactic. Uh... Yeah, follow me. We'll get through this, all right? One, two, three, four, Spartan Woody. Spartan Woody, right. right. sir. See, that's what I love about you, Herb, back there on the drums. You could just play them beats all day long, couldn't you? Does anyone not know the name of this song? Okay, good. I didn't it's called Sporting the Woody. All right. All right, here we go. I'm just going to count you off this time, all right? Do you think you can handle that? High school education, motherfuckers. Oh, Jesus. I dropped out. Looks like he's doing pretty good because of it. You know, I really don't think that's very smart, Jason, for you to drop out when you only need two more credits to graduate. Oh, damn. Fuck it! I want to play rock and roll! I want to write songs called... I mean, you only got two credits? That's kind of... Pissed at him, they said, I told you we did it. I can't go downtown much to all the words and go bust. Oh. Oh. Okay, we're gonna get to. Uh, is this a song? Okay. God, that really fell apart there. Okay, let's just get through this. I'm starting to get tired of this now. Uh, I can't go down much all the working girls, all the working girl butts. You know, they really make my Woody happy. But in the nightclub and such, and all the corner sluts, might just make my waistband go snappy. Oh, my heavens. What's this one say? Don't know what I'm going to do. Can't stop looking at you because you're, cause you're sure looking nice to me. Well, I wish you were sedated so I could at least penetrate. What? Well, I wish you were sedated so I could at least penetrate you for an hour, maybe three. No, 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 no. Wrong. You ding dongs, Jesus! What does he say that at? He hadn't even done it yet. Do we got to listen to him clapping? What? 
Yeah, spits on the land, hate the people. Okay, get to it. All right, all right. I think it's, we've already way passed it, right? This is just practice. This is just practice. Stop that. Just practice. You see that eyebrow go up? He's like, oh, Jesus. Criminy. Uh, I think we're done with this, really. Let's get down here. What's he say? I know it's just going to be long winded. One, two, three, five. Sporting. Sporting. Oh, there we go. Spit on the floor, he's gonna lay on it now. That's punk bro. People get so happy at that part because they just had to deal with five minutes of bullshit. So once they get to when they get down, get down, get down, they're like, listen how loud they get. Listen. To no, he's like, all right, yeah, whatever. Is this in the song? It falls apart like they're just kind of doing it as an extra. You know what? Right here. See how loud they get? All right, they're playing the song again. That's awesome. Spartan Woody, oh yay! I think we're finished with this here. What say you? Uh, are you a huge a Dangerous Toys fan? Are you a huge Sport and the Woody fan? Is your fan? That, that, that word Sport and the Woody sounds 90s to me. Uh, it sounds like, well, it would have been 90s, right? But it sounds Huey Lewis in the news. Like, you know when you saw them, they were all holding their, their suit and tie jackets over their shoulders on that uh, Huey Lewis album cover? It sounds like some something like an accountant would say. Well, I'm Sport and the Woody for her, you know? But uh, what say you? I need all the inputs, the outputs, and every puts. Uh, your inputs are fantastic. The thumbs, the ups, these are great. And the uh, subscribing to the channel is also wonderful. That's all I got for this. I love you so much. And sporting a Woody is a good thing, but keep it in your own britches. Uh, unless uh, someone says, hey, you can take it out of your britches and give it to me. That's all I got. Mm -hmm. Sporting a Woody, oh yeah.